what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? 6 9 is playing with fire by cruising the streets of Los Angeles, handing out $100 bills and posing in front of Nipsey Hussle's mural. He's doing all of this while calling out his haters who thinks that he should be afraid of gang retaliation. Now, had this been any other rapper, any other person, people may not be so critical. They may not be watching this with such skepticism, but 6 9 is one of those dudes who is a self-admitted troll. He likes it. He gets off on it. Nipsey did an interview with Big Boy where he talked about 6 9 being the type of person who is going to self-destruct. He said that people should stop paying him attention because of that. So Nip was not a fan of 6 9 he was not a fan of rats, period. As you know, Nipsey was murdered by Eric Holder, who he accused of being a rat. He didn't want rats anywhere around him. Now, 6 9 goes on this rant, and he makes a video where he is basically disrespecting Nip, saying that he was, you know, kicked in the face and and shot and all this type of stuff. Saying that alone is not disrespect, but it ain't what you say, it's how you say it. And you'd have to watch the, the, the video to see for yourself what I'm talking about. But he also called out Pop Smoke, saying that, basically trolling their fans, saying that, yeah, your favorite rapper is dead because they don't have security. Y'all trying to get on me, trying to rank on me because I got security. Well. You're not going to RIP me. You're not going to put me on a T-shirt. So he goes to L.A. and he talks about the haters. He calls the haters out. Yeah, I got my security. Ha, ha, ha. He takes the picture, uh, video himself in front of Nipsey's mural, and he kneels, and he appears to be doing some type of prayer. He was also on the streets in LA, giving out money on Thursday. $100 bills to the kids. Now, on the surface, that seems like a good gesture. But once again, the skepticism comes from a person who has pretty much been so-called canceled from the hood, but he goes to the hood and he passes out money and now he's a hero. Somebody commented on my Instagram saying, I don't see any other rappers doing that. At least he's doing something. How easy is it for, to get over on us? How easy is it? Just because someone gives you money does not mean they love you. Does not mean they care about you. It does not make them a good person. A pimp will buy a woman a dress and get her hair done, buy some fancy shoes just to put out on the track and make her sell her body. And then he will beat the living shit out of her if she come up short. The U.S. government gives that millions of dollars each month in welfare benefits, and you know what they think of us. Passing out money in the hood ain't nothing new. People who bring harm to the community has always passed out money and given away turkeys to buy the silence of the people in the community. This is an old play performed by the pimps the pushers, the bangers, the jack boys, the extortionists. This is an old play. 
So what happens? You know, I'm gonna give some people that I know that need it, they desperate, and I know they don't think a lot about me right now. They heard about me. I know they think I ain't nothing, but I'm gonna give them this money and they're gonna leave me alone. And in fact, not only will they leave me alone, they're gonna tell other people to leave me alone. They're gonna speak highly of me. All money ain't good money. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?